Right, scientists in the Bay Area and around the world are focusing on a new kind of test that could determine who has recovered from the coronavirus without ever knowing they had it. KPI X 5s Betty Yu on how antibody testing could be key in getting people back to work. Betty? Ken, it's important to note that the antibody test is different from the current coronavirus test. The results could be useful because people with antibodies may have enough protection against the virus to consider getting back to work. Today, an ambitious testing program by the University of Miami began in South Florida, one of several nationwide awaiting FDA approval. The goal to clear up the chaotic picture of just how widespread the virus is. They plan to test 3,500 randomly selected residents. California Governor Gavin Newsom said today a test being developed at Stanford University may be released as soon as this week. The test uses a blood sample collected typically with a finger poke. All part of figuring out uh, whether or not people have immunity, people uh, have the kind of antibodies uh, that will allow us to process new protocols in order to get people back into the workforce or at least back into society in more traditional ways. The test, also being developed at UCSF and under study at UC Berkeley, looks for a person's antibodies, the proteins the immune system makes to attack the COVID-19 virus. It doesn't look for current infection. Instead, it detects who's had it in the past, whether they know it or not. The problem is not all antibodies are protected. So you might have a positive antibody test and not be protected, or you might have a positive test and then it, uh, the, it might, the antibodies might go away over the next six months or year or two years. So UC Berkeley professor of epidemiology, Art Reingold, antibody. is part of the team doing research on the antibody test. Antibody tests could also help inform the development of a COVID-19 vaccine. As far as the Stanford test, blood samples have already been collected from about 3,200 volunteers, and results are expected to be known in about a week. Liz?